The GPU that I will be doing some tweaking is the old AMD R9 290 reference card that came out in 2013. If you have this card, you might already be familiar with its very high noise level. Before doing any modifications, I did a GPU stress test to record its performance. The highest temperature recorded is 94 degrees Celsius, which is okay. However, the noise comes from the GPU stock fan is simply unacceptable with high 73 decibel. That is roughly the same with a vacuum cleaner. So we need to get rid of that noisy fan. So what I did is simply removing the GPU case to get access to the fan. Once the stock fan is removed, I simply put the case back and attach the new fan on top. To attach the new fan, I use some zip ties to hold the fan in place. And use duct tape to cover any holes. Now, install the GPU to the PC with the fan header connected to the motherboard. The fan curve can be adjusted in the BIOS. After doing the stress test, the result is not very promising. The noise drastically improves and it matches with the ambience noise. However, the temperature goes to 100 degrees Celsius just after 10 seconds or so. At this point, the PC just shut off completely. So we need to tweak some things again. On the second attempt of the GPU modifications, I removed the GPU case and attached the fan vertically. With the GPU case removed, the heat should be efficiently moved away from the heatsink. Or so I thought. Let's look at the result. Although the idle temperature is improved from 60 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius, the GPU still generates a lot of heat during the GPU stress test and throttle just after about 45 seconds. And this leads me to do the third attempt of the GPU mode. This time, I made a cover made from a cardboard for the fan to direct the airflow directly to the heatsink, hopefully to remove more heat. At this point, the GPU looks completely bizarre, but hopefully it works this time. The idle temperature slightly improved from the previous version. However, the GPU still throttle after about one minute of GPU stress test. The slight improvement since it took a bit longer to throttle, but at the moment, the GPU is unusable. At this point, I'm running out of ideas for further modifications. That's all for today, but I will continue this video in the near future. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions and ideas, please let me know in the comment below and thank you for watching.